Have you ever wondered, what is Unicode? And, why do we need it? Let's find the answer in a very simple way. It is a fact that, computer knows only zeros and ones. Everything, that goes into the computer memory for processing, converts first into zeros and ones. It could be numbers, characters, texts, audios or videos. Another fact is that, all the characters are just symbols. That means, every character you see on your screen are symbols. These symbols, do not make any sense to computers. Symbols are only for humans. Now we have a problematic scenario in front of us. On the one side, we have symbols, so that humans can interact with the computer. On the other side, we have, zeros and ones, the only language that computers understand. If we want computer to process these symbols, then we need to convert them into zeros and ones. But the problem is, we cannot convert symbols directly into zeros and ones. Because zeros and ones are actually numbers, and belong to binary number system. But, a number from one number system, can be converted into another number system. For example, a decimal number 65, can be converted into a binary number. And the binary of 65, can be converted back into decimal. Computer scientists came up with a solution. They permanently assigned a decimal number to every symbol, and created a table. This table was created in 1960, and became famous as, ASCII table. ASCII stands for, American Standard Code for Information Interchange. After the creation of ASCII table, things become easier. Symbols, or characters got representation in the form of numbers. Whenever a user wants to send a symbol, or character for processing. Computer decoding system contacts with ASCII table, and requests for the symbol, or character's decimal code. The decimal code is then converted into binary, and sent to the computer for processing. For example, if you want to send uppercase letter P for processing. The computer decoding system receives it first. Then, the computer decoding system makes a request to the ASCII table, and asks for decimal code for P. The ASCII table returns number 80 to the decoding system. And finally, the decoding system converts 80 into binary, and then sends it to the computer for processing. After the processing, the computer sends back the result in binary form. Now, the encoding system comes in action. The encoding system receives binary, and converts binary into decimal, and then makes a request to the ASCII table, and asks for the character symbol, equivalent to that number. The ASCII table fulfills the request, and returns the character symbol to the encoding system. The character symbol is then sent back to the screen. This is a simple demonstration about, how decoding, and encoding works, and the role of ASCII table. You may have realized one thing that, computers all the time are busy in decoding and encoding. The use of computers was not so widespread, when ASCII was created. Therefore, ASCII has been representing only English alphabets, and some special character symbols. But today, computers are everywhere, and ASCII is not able to represent every character in every language that exists in the world. Because the size of ASCII allows only the representation of 256 characters. In order to represent characters and special characters include in every human language, that exists in the world, computer scientists created an enhanced version of ASCII. This version is called Unicode, and Unicode can support 65,535 characters. Now in Unicode, characters from all the other languages got representation. You can look for yourself, the characters in the Unicode table. Just Google it. In Unicode, the first 128 characters are the same as the ASCII. That makes Unicode compatible to use instead of the ASCII system. Today, Unicode has widespread acceptance, and ASCII is disappearing. But ASCII will continue to live as a large part of computer history. In the end, you will make some reflections. Find the answers of the questions you see on the screen. Why should every computer system around the globe use the same character table like Unicode? Or, what will happen if two computers communicate with each other, using different character decoding, encoding systems?